In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transform your subject's face into something crazy using AI. You can do this to a singular photo or you can transform it into a full video effect like we're doing today. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's day four of uploading a tutorial every single day. So if you're new here, be sure to be subscribed. We're gonna be using Dolly 2. It's free to use up until a certain amount of times you use it. So you can definitely test out the effect to see if you like it before you have to go ahead and pay for it. And that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. If you guys could do me a quick favor, drop a like on this video, suggest a tutorial idea in the comments and let's get into the video. So starting off, you don't really have to use any specific editing software, but all you have to do is just be able to take screenshots of your footage. So that's what I'm going ahead and doing. I'm going one frame at a time and screenshotting it and naming it one through 10. I did the 10 frames. You can do as many frames or as little frames as you want. I think 10 is like right where it kind of like starts to become a full effect. If I had a little bit more time, I probably would have done closer to 20, but for the tutorial, you get the idea of how to do it. So once you have your 10 screenshots, you're going to want to go to this open AI website. I'll have a link down in the description and basically just open up that first image in the sequence, click skip cropping, and then it's going to ask you to click a check mark. And then you're going to want to bring this box around where you want the masking to take place. And then you're going to select this eraser tool and mask out the spot you want to be replaced. For us, we want to replace NLE's head with an astronaut helmet. So I typed in astronaut helmet and then click generate. As you can see, there's a loading bar at the bottom and it just takes a little bit of time. And then it will give you four separate options. So you can go through these arrows, pick the one you want, click accept. And then what I did to save time, because I know I'm going to do this to 10 plus different screenshots, I just opened this tab up in 10 different tabs and then went ahead, did the same process throughout, brought the eraser, started to erase the head, then typed in astronaut helmet, click generate. And before I even waited for it to be finished, I just went to the next tab, did it for the third photo and so on and so forth. If you already know what you're going to replace your subject's face with, I'd recommend doing it this way, to be honest, because it just saves a lot of time and you don't have to wait for it to generate. Then once you've gone through and waited for them to all generate, just go ahead and click accept and then click that download button in the top right. Import those photos into Premiere Pro or whatever editing software you're using. And then if you sort by name and highlight all of them and then drag them into your sequence, they'll all be in order and then I just went ahead and made them all one frame long. And now when you play that, you already have a really cool AI effect. I just wanted to sauce it up a little bit more as always. So I made an adjustment layer. I added some transform on it just to have it kind of zoom into Annalise's face here. And then I thought it was a little weird that I went from normal clip to AI and then back to the normal clip without any like transition in between them. So I used my friend Tiny Tape's editing pack, the fast movement effects for Premiere Pro and made an adjustment layer for four frames long. And then I applied a preset on at the beginning and at the end. That way it's not just like a harsh cut between the normal clip and the AI. I think it helps out a lot. If you're interested, in those presets, I'll have them linked down below. And then I just wanted to blend the AI stuff with the footage a little bit better. So I made a new adjustment layer, added Lumetri color to it, and then added my filmic LUT on top of that. That way it kind of just blends the AI clip with the actual footage, makes it look a little bit more real and like it's actually there. And then I also went ahead and added Dehancer for the grain, the halations, and the bloom. I'll have my LUT pack and Dehancer linked in the description also if you're interested. And then finally, I just thought it'd be nice to have some kind of like sound effect to kind of signify the transition. So I added a camera flash, a little like camera like shutter kind of sound, and then a little look at the end just to make the transition feel a little bit more whole and kind of like signify it with sounds. I also have the sound effects I used linked in the description. But after that, that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this tutorial. It's a really simple effect. It just takes a little bit of time. But when you get used to Dali, it's pretty quick when you open it in different browsers. You can literally type in whatever you want to replace your subject's head with or any object in the scene. You can also just like add on stuff that wasn't there. Like, like you can add in a person or whatever. So you can really get as creative as you want with this. I just wanted to show a technique on how to like add it into your footage and then kind of how to blend it in to make it look an actual effect. If you made it all the way to the end, I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, drop a like on the video. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that because I'm uploading a video every single day for this whole entire month. Peace.